What's up, everybody? Welcome to my top five list of my top five favorite video games of all time. Number five. For number five, we got Pokemon Stadium. And there's two of them, so I'm just going to consider them in one game, because technically they're basically the same exact thing. So these games are very similar, like I said, so I'm playing this in one game. And the game did what we kids did not think was possible. Taking Pokemon and making them battle in three dimensions. Also, what made it better is that you can slap your, in your Pokemon game pack and watch your Pokemon duke it out with your opponents. That's right, Blastoise and kill Charizard are in three dimensions. Number four. This party is crazy. Let's rock. Okay, Devil May Cry 3 to be specific, because it's mainly my favorite game of the four, and this Dante is a fucking badass. Who wants to do a Demon Dog with cocky shit? Wow, I've never seen a talking mud before. You know, in a dog show, you definitely take first place. Dante clearly does. Do I, do I have to say anything about Dante? Yeah, after that? No, I don't. <laughs> Number three. A number three, we got the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. That's, welcome to the open world with bandits want to fucking murder you for gold, and you can steal dragon souls for fucking yelling at people. This game is worth it. At the release date, it was 100% worth it. And it's an Elder Scrolls game. Any Elder Scrolls game is pretty good. Marrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim now. It's awesome. You can, be, you can be what kind of warrior. You can be any kind of warrior in the game. You can be a heavy mage, you can be a light grade sword user, anything. And so it's your choice. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and then I mentioned that you can ride on dragons and build a fucking awesome house. Number two. All right, for number two on our list, we got Super Mario World. It's Mario, but as platforming best. There's so many secrets in the world. You can beat it naturally first, and then go beat the Star World, and then go to Secret Star World. Come on, what kind of world in any Mario game had a name of tubular and awesome? You don't see that in Mario games nowadays. Also, also it included Yoshi. So you know it's gonna be a fucking good game. Number one on my list was a tie between two games. Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 or Street Fighter Third Strike. And honestly, I think I'm going with Street Fighter Third Strike. Hands down, best fighting game I've ever played next to Marvel for this Capcom 3. Ever since a Daigo Parry at Evo, everyone, I mean every single fighting game player played third strike with no end everyone was hyped up man i remember everyone shouting screaming everyone's excited this if you don't and if you don't know what it is just look it up it's probably got like it's so popular with street fighter third strike fans today till no end will this game die ever Okay, so we got two questions from my Instagram page, and one of the questions is, how did I get onto Instagram? Well, truth be told, I had a cousin who was into Instagram, and, well, yeah, Instagram's freaking fun, I love it, and I started posting on it because I was bored. I mean, like, Instagram's now a hobby, it's, just, it's a hobby, I have a job, so might as well do it. Question number two is, my who is my favorite Pokemon account? 
So, I don't know if you're talking about Instagram or YouTube, but I'm going to say I my favorite account on YouTube is Jaywitz. Jaywitz is smart. He knows a lot of things about Pokemon Universe, and I respect that. He is one of the best Pokemon players I know, but not competitively at least. But Shofu, on the other hand, is a great competitive battler. He knows everything, so and he's entertaining in his videos as well, so that's why he's one of my favorite ones.